Okay, this is a tutorial on how to print the uh, Epson Stylus Photo R1900, which is an amazing printer. Well, first I want to open up my image. So I have a photo on here I want to use. So I'm going to go into my folder and I'm just going to do test print. Okay. Now if I just double click on a JPEG, it's going to it's going to open up. It's going to open up in preview. I don't want it to open up in preview. So I'm going to quit preview. I want to drag this to my Photoshop. And so Photoshop will open it up. And then I just want to print this. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, my size is like 26 by 17. So we won't really worry about that right now. So Command P, you can go, you know, File print or just do command P. So command P will open up the print setting. Now obviously the image is too big to fit on an 11 and a half, 8 and a half by 11 so I want to scale to fit media. Okay now there are sometimes some things that you would need to uh, make exactly 100% scale but for this and I'm going to click this button to make it a little larger on the page. Now it's 40% size as opposed to the 30% size. So print settings, um, just make sure that these are all the printers that are hooked up to the printer network and we definitely want the R1900. Okay, So we want to make sure that's checked. We want to make sure that this says uh, printer manages colors. If it says Photoshop manages colors uh, it actually doesn't do a good job of managing colors. So we definitely want printer managers colors and we want this absolute color metric chosen. That means it's gonna, the printer is gonna pick the most accurate colors possible. So if you, if you want to see examples of the differences in, in these settings, you can see me because I've printed a bunch of examples. So anyway, these are the settings that you want. Uh, and then you're going to click on print settings and that's going to bring you to a whole new menu okay again make sure that this is click is on R1900 um, standard presets don't worry about that um, US letter that's basically your eight and a half by eleven sheet okay that's the one you want um, US legal that's like the big yellow notepads we've got eight by ten four by six um, does a lot of different sizes this printer does okay now if you're using a bigger sheet of paper uh, you gotta tell the printer what sheet of paper you're doing us we're just using an eight and a half by a letter eight and a half by eleven layout um, color matching you definitely want this to say Epson color controls paper handling um, this is pretty generic, don't worry so much about this. Um, you can say scale to fit paper size, but we already checked that box on an earlier menu, so we're fine. Cover page, we don't really need a cover page, we're just printing the photo. Scheduler, that's if you want to you know, have something print later, don't worry about that. Print settings, this is the magical menu, this is what we really want. Okay. Um, you can tell the printer what type of paper. For us, we can print on just plain white paper, and it will be kind of a, you know, a, a decent resolution, but the ink doesn't show as, uh, as well on white paper. Photo paper, you can go premium paper, glossy, um, or a, a photo paper luster, depending on what we're using, and you'll learn more about that later. Um, photo paper glossy, okay. Now, if we're going to print on glossy, we want to turn the gloss optimizer on there's basically an ink cartridge that has like a varnish in it and it will just spray varnish over our print it looks really sharp if we are using plain paper okay if we're using plain paper we want to make sure that this is off okay make sure this says Epson uh, color controls Epson vivid uh, print quality photo best photo you can make your decision high speed it's a good printer so we can keep high speed on okay so for my glossy, gloss optimizer on, save, print settings, let's, go, let's look at the rest of it, page layout settings, don't worry about that, extension settings, don't worry about that, okay? So we are good, 
we know we're printing on glossy, we know we're printing on uh, with absolute printer manages colors, we should be good to go. If you want to change your scale size, you can do that here. Okay. If you want to change where the image rests on the page, you can do that here. You can put it, let's see, 0.5. 0.5 and then I can you know print something on here later if I wanted to okay or I can just click center image 40% or scale to fit media and then you're ready to print and then you get a glossy print and that's how it's done